so uh, tonight's my first match. And uh, I found out that I'm going to be wrestling this uh, Jason, uh, what's his name? Divine? <laughs> He's not awesome. I'm Mr. Awesome. That's plain and simple. I'm going to work this hard on this guy. It's just symmetry. There's one from one of his birthdays. Yeah. What did he get there? Scramble game. That's a fake smile of his. It was nothing to do with the wrestling. Same Christmas. That's right. How we mm -hmm. tied the same ones. Well, uh, what was Mikey like as a baby? Huh. Everything you'd want in a kid. Perfect little baby. Carrying him around like a football. <laughs> how small he was. And just enjoying having my boy. It was an adventure with him. He, like, well, since he was little, he never was really into um, playing with cars or playing with normal things. It's always any action figure or a wrestling doll, it was always fighting. And that was his main thing. Always. No regular shows, it was either videotapes of wrestling or, or just wrestling, like you pay for views and stuff like that. He was in preschool and he wanted to bring his uh, wrestling dolls for show and tell. And um, I guess one of the kids wanted to play with it and he said no and he grabbed it and he threw it. Well, they were outside, he went into the other side of the fence so he wasn't able to get it. He got mad and he started hitting the kid, doing wrestling moves on the kid. Upstairs in his room, he would spend hours and you wouldn't hear from him. He was just doing matches and, and, and pretending he still had his wrestling stuff because I punished him. He wasn't allowed to have them. He's always that shy kid, the quiet kid that stayed towards the back. In high school, he's still the same, but he started breaking out of it a little bit, especially when he started getting more involved. With with football, I think is when it really started breaking out of it. I played football for, um, I'd say about eight or nine years. He was always a lineman or a linebacker. He's always talked about how, ever since he was little, he wanted to be a pro wrestler, he wanted to be a pro wrestler. And he started really getting into finding out more when he was probably late into junior. Yeah, high school. I was like, no, please don't. You're gonna get hurt, and I don't think it's a good idea. I really tried to talk him out of it. At first, I was like iffy, but I've been a long time wrestling fan myself, so kind of like hard not to, because it's part of my dream too. But I never knew about the indie scene. I always knew what was on TV. Uh, I tried to make it to as many of the trains as I could, mm -hmm. just to keep an eye out for my son and to go to almost all of his shows. It was somewhere really scary that I had to either walk out or bury my face into whoever was beside me because I couldn't watch it. I was at one match where he got hurt and I saw his knee give out and that really scared me there and I didn't want him to do it no more but he was already too involved. His first real big concussion happened in a match where I was in the crowd filming and watching it happen. It was real scary. He took a, a move and the guy that gave him the move didn't release the move at the proper time. So he took a proper bump, took his knees right to his face and was out. It seems like after every single concussion, it just, I don't know, just, seems to distance himself. Well, he used to play um, like a crazy psycho person for his character in wrestling. Um, now it actually, from what I hear, it, he's actually becoming it. He acts more like it than his normal self. So are you saying like after the wrestling shows, he doesn't turn that off? He's just all the time. He's just all the time. Little by little, it's consumed him. He's just changing, dissing himself from everybody and just doing some 
strange stuff just out of the normal. I really don't know my son anymore. I really wish he would, well, I can kind of wish he would, we would have a better relationship. Um, I hardly see him. He doesn't call. When was the last time that you spoke to Mike? No. No. I don't know why. If you could, if Mikey was here right now, what would you say to him? I miss you. I want my boy back. Mikey, please just come home. We need you. I love you. And if you don't get